Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Yansa's Universe, it's me Yansa. Welcome back existing viewers and subscribers and welcome new viewers and subscribers. This is Yansa's Universe where we do tarot. You guys, I will be soon launching my spiritual products, okay? But for now, I am open for personal readings. You can check the description box below on how to get in contact with me, the types of readings that I offer, how to keep up with me on social media, and the most recent readings that I have done. That will all be in the description box, you guys. I want to let you know not every message, not every card, not every storyline will resonate. And remember, time is fluid. Um, the messages that come out in these readings may have already happened, could be happening now or could happen in the near future. Excuse me. And you guys only take what resonates. Happy birthday to all of my Leos. Leo gang, happy birthday, Leo. So this is a singles reading, all right? A singles love reading, singles. What can you expect in love for the month of August 2022? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, protect me as I go within the tarot. Keep me safe. Return to sender any and all negativity. No open that song against me shall prosper. Protect me. Protect the viewers. Protect the messages. This is for all signs. What can they expect in love for the month of August 2022? All right. Starting with Leo. 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 What can Leo expect? All right. What's going on now? Okay. What does Leo not see coming in love for the month of August? All right. What you don't see coming. Okay. Overall energy, soulmate. So there is a soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. All right. I feel like... If this isn't someone you already know, I feel like this is someone you're going to get to know, a new person. All right, so what's going on currently is you are getting to know someone, getting to know each other. As you reveal your most, as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So this is what's going on currently, all right? Because overall, you have a soulmate. What you don't expect, what you don't see, they are very attracted to you. I see Leo is not expecting to be so attracted to this person. Okay, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So you could actually be attracting a couple of people, a couple of suitors. Okay, so what's going on currently, you're getting to know them. What you don't see coming, what you don't expect, you're actually attracted to them. And you're attracting a lot of people as well. And you're finding your soulmate, the overall energy. I like this. Okay, move this over. I'm trying something new with my camera. <sighs> okay what's going on with Leo 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 and love what's going on with Leo August 2022 Leo death okay so there's been an ending something has changed in your life and right now you're just trying to you know just have some type of control some sense of control on what's going on i do feel like better days are coming you just stay focused king of swords just stay focused leo because you don't want any distractions you don't want anyone or anything getting in your way hold on y'all i'm sorry I'm sitting on this chair and it is not comfortable at all. Okay. All right. Okay, Leo. So what I see is there are, there have been some endings and there have been some things that have changed in your life. And I do I do feel like you're trying to hold on to yourself, hold on to what little money you have left. You're trying to hold on to what little I hear dignity you have left and you are just, you're done. You did cut somebody off because you were in your head. You don't like that and the cycle is closed. So I do feel like 
when you close this cycle with one person, I do see someone new coming in. All right. Overall energy for Leo for the month of August. What's going on overall for Leo? Nothing is yet set in stone. Nothing is yet set in stone, Leo. And it's a time for healing. So always have a plan A, plan B, plan C, because nothing is yet set in stone. We do have the death card. So there are um, such things as endings, such, such things as transformations, you know, things like that. So make sure you heal up because there's some new things coming into your life and you're attracting new people. So nothing is yet set in stone. Um, that means... You know, there's always an opportunity to say what you need to say, do what you need to do. There's all, you know, find those opportunities and use them well. I see you could be dealing with an air sign, fire sign, earth sign, or a Scorpio. All right, and we are moving on. I actually don't want these to be that long. So... Moving on to Virgo. All right, this is for Virgo for the month of August. Messages for Virgo. What's going on for Virgo? Virgo in love. All right. What's going on currently? Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction to keep this um, relationship going. All right, what does Virgo not see coming? What is Virgo not expecting? Free yourself that this is over. You got to free yourself, Virgo. Take back control of your life. Okay? Overall energy is some type of codependency. So, Virgo, what I'm seeing is what's going on currently. Sorry, y'all. What's going on currently. You may not feel the same way about someone and you're trying to free yourself because it's being codependent. Or... What you don't see is someone does not feel the same way about you and they are trying to free themselves. Either way it goes, there's not enough attraction. So maybe you've been in this and you've just been in it, going through the motions because, you know, maybe y'all have kids or maybe you've been with this person for a long time or maybe you live with this person, something like that. And you're just like, I, I'm not, it's unrequited. We don't feel the same way about each other. It's time to take back control of your life because addictions are affecting your love life. All right? Whether it be, yeah, the three of swords, drugs, sex, alcohol, whatever addictions is affecting your love life. All right, Virgo. Justice. Yeah, you want your life to be balanced. You could be dealing with the Libra because there's too much imbalance in your life. Yeah, it's all about getting balanced. A lot of twos. Two of pentacles needing to get balanced, juggling a lot. All right, temperance is balance, patience, taking time, moderation, not overdoing it. Um, and then we have justice. It's all about balance for you. Every single card is about balance. And you're trying to weigh out your options. The world is in your hands. So you're trying to figure out what do I do? Where do I go? What road should I take? What do I do? Where do I go? What road should I take? Trying to balance these things. So the for the whole month of August, I just see you juggling. You're trying to make these things work but you need peace there may be some things you need to sacrifice or let go of give me one second okay i'm back so sorry about that virgo so what i'm seeing is a lot of balance so you guys have unrequited love there's not enough attraction to keep this relationship going that's the current energy what you don't see is that you or somebody else will be freeing themselves because what's been going on overall, addictions, codependency, toxicity, all right? What's the overall energy for Virgo in all this? Step out of your comfort zone, Virgo. Okay, and look at the bigger picture. It could be done with the Sagittarius. Yeah, we have double Sagittarius here. It could be done with an earth sign, a Libra, or a fire sign, but you're freeing yourself, you're trying to be balanced, and you're going for things that, you know, you like, people that you like. 
things that like you, people that like you back, okay? So look at the bigger picture and step out of your comfort zone and get balanced. That's the whole thing for you, Virgo, all right? Moving on. Libra. Libra and love. Messages for Libra. In regard to their love life for August 2022. What's going on currently for Libra? Romantic feelings. Currently, you have romantic feelings for someone. All right. All right. What don't you expect or what do you not see coming? Stay optimistic about your love life. Okay. Because overall, religious factors. Your love life is being influenced by religious factors and spiritual, your spiritual path. I'm sorry. So what's going on currently? You have romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and they're worth exploring. So that's what's going on currently. What you don't see coming is you got to stay optimistic about your love life. What you don't see and what you don't expect, you got to stay positive, okay? Because what's the overall energy in your love life is your spirituality, your religion, what you believe, all right? Or how you were taught. All right, this is for Libra. Ten of Swords, endings, completion, building yourself back up, working on your finances, and really walking away from someone or something. But I, I see a comeback around. But do you see this Page of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles? There's a difference in status, how much money you make, or how much effort is given. I do see love coming, though. Someone you've been stuck on. All right, what I'm seeing is there's been some hurt and betrayal and you're trying to stay focused or it's this earth sign that hurt you, betrayed you, walked away from you and they're coming back. Who is this, Libra? Okay, so I'm saying, yeah, this is you, your energy, Ten of Swords. You're the one who's been hurt, all right? And you have romantic feelings, so maybe you still have feelings for this person who hurt you. Or what I'm seeing is you're getting out of whatever this negative energy is and focusing on self, distancing yourself emotionally. I do see a soulmate, someone you have feelings for. Stay optimistic about your love life because I, I just see you that you've been hurt and you're trying to close yourself off. I think this is why stay optimistic because maybe you're very pessimistic. You don't want to open up. You don't want to be in love. You have these memories of the past and things like that, but you're trying to move on, move forward from it. Okay, this Eight of Cups could definitely be someone trying to return to you. We have the Six of Cups as well, okay? Maybe you're trying to, because the Eight of Cups looks like it's walking towards the Queen of Pentacles. So maybe you're trying to go towards this Earth sign, or you're trying to just go towards money, stability, and finances. All right, because how you maybe how you were raised or how you were taught was to just focus on money, focus on work, focus on creating your legacy, making sure that you're set for life, your children are set for life, things like that. But you have romantic feelings for somebody. Somebody might have romantic feelings for you. Yeah, I see Taurus. What's uh, the overall energy for Libra for August? You are good enough. All right, could be dealing with the Virgo. You are good enough. And there's a win-win outcome that's forecast, Libra. This is your energy. So you could be a Virgo Libra cusper. But what I'm seeing is stay optimistic about your love life. There's someone you will have romantic feelings for or they will have romantic feelings for you. And maybe you're questioning if your feelings are real. Maybe they're questioning if their feelings are real. Because according to your spirituality, maybe you have a spiritual connection a spiritual connection with them or according to your spirituality maybe um you may feel like it's not the right time you're trying to focus on yourself but spirit is like hey we're the people in charge <laughs> trust us do what we say so you i see you can be dealing with the water sign earth sign or an air sign All right, that was Libra, moving on to Scorpio. 
All right, Scorpio. Tell me about Scorpio in love. All right. Overall, um, what's happening now? What's going on now? Worth waiting for. Divine time. Divine timing, y'all. It's not working your love life. What you don't see coming, what you don't expect. Unrequited love. Go watch the Virgo reading. Virgo, Virgo has been popping up in Scorpio's energy for a long time. Almost every reading that I've done for Scorpio, Virgo's popped up. Could be a Virgo or a Gemini. Okay? Um, Virgo and Mars or something like that. So, overall energy, your feelings are real and worth exploring. Romantic feelings. Um, what's going on currently is maybe you've been patient. Maybe you have to wait. What you don't see coming is that you don't have feelings for somebody. The longer you wait, the more you don't like them anymore, the longer they make you wait or whatever's going on. There's not enough chemistry to keep this relationship going. So maybe you haven't seen this person in a long time. Maybe you are not attracted to them anymore or something like that. And then possibly, so I feel like possibly the person that you have romantic feelings for, because this is the overall energy. The person you have romantic feelings for, overall energy is for some reason spirit is making you wait or for some reason it's taking too long. And what you don't see coming is that you won't even feel the same way about this person anymore. Yeah, the fool and the eight of cups. And you're going to move forward. So I feel like this is... Um, this is not a long-lasting relationship in August. It's not going to last long. King of Swords. Could be an air sign. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. Eight of Wands. I do see communication. But for some reason, it's, this relationship is too hard. It's too stressful, it's too many burdens, or maybe you have too many responsibilities. It could be this person. They have too much responsibilities and it makes them not available. They need to make themselves more available to you. Because this Nine of Pentacles is a single card, a single energy. You're good either way. I do see like you would like this person to give you more time or give you more love or more affection or emotions. But they just they don't i don't want to say they can't i don't know what they can and can't i don't know what they can and can't do they just don't all right i do see the communication is on 10 though y'all have bomb ass communication y'all talk y'all probably have some bomb sex too but in regard to the emotional factor there are no cups here someone puts like it's too much they have they just got too much going on. I see the sun card and the chariot, so you might be moving on to somebody else anyway, yeah, ace of pentacles. You might be moving on to somebody else anyway. I feel like this person is a really good catch, but there are strings attached with the ten of wands. All right, and they leave you stressed. So you might decide to be, be single, just be friends. Be friends with benefits or something like that. But there's something or someone that you don't feel the same way about. Or vice versa. This is how they feel about you. Okay? Because Spirit is saying divine timing is at work in your love life. Divine timing, y'all. So, overall energy for Scorpio for the month of August. The answers you need are coming. So, you could be dealing with a Gemini. And then balance spirituality and practicality. Yeah, you got other things to focus on as well. Balance spirituality and practicality. I think this is why divine timing is here. So you don't get too engulfed in one thing. Balance out your spiritual life, work life, home life, romantic life, okay? I see Gemini, Pisces could be dealing with the fire sign, air sign, or earth sign. Moving on to Sagittarius. All right. Messages for Sagittarius. Sagittarius in love. Tell me about Sagittarius for the month of August. What's going on in Sagittarius' love life? Okay, so what's going on currently? What's the current energy? You deserve love. You are lovable. So that's the current energy. What don't you expect? What you don't, what don't you see coming, Sagittarius? 
romantic feelings. You deserve love. You are lovable. That's what's going on currently. What you don't see coming is you have romantic feelings for someone or someone has romantic feelings for you. Overall energy, you got a past life relationship coming up. You've known each other before. Could be with the Pisces. All right, what's going on for Sagittarius? Could be dealing with the Scorpio. There's a big change. You could be meeting an Aries. Yeah, a lot of change. Good fortune coming to you. So you might be going from single to in a relationship. We have the Nine of Pentacles, but you could, I'm telling you. And you can meet this person at work. Ooh. Okay, or it could be your boss. Um, Someone with children or an Aries, someone of high authority, high honor, okay, in the public eye. This person is very stoic. They may not show their emotions, but if if you're theirs, they, they will take care of you. I see this person, I'm getting a taking care of energy, okay? And this person likes that you have your own Sagittarius. Or because this person has their own, they're in this nine of pinnacle ener energy, like, they're a boss. That's that's who you like. That's who you're attracted to. You're attracted to people who are very um, good to themselves. You can tell they're good to themselves because they take care of themselves. They're very well off financially because they work hard. They're very well off physically because they take care of their body. They eat right. Things like that. This person has is very high vibrational. And I feel like this high vibrational person, they're your emperor. Okay? So I feel like this happens out of nowhere, a twist of fate, because there's good fortune, good karma coming to you. I see travel as well. I see a whirlwind of blessings. I feel like I literally see a tornado. So I don't know if it's raining where you are or there's a tornado or something like that. But maybe you feel like, I, I, I don't know why I just keep seeing a tornado. I don't know what that's about. What's that about? Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, something changes things up. Maybe you've been complacent for a while and then boom, you're the nine of pentacles and you're, you're vibrating very high. You're attracting, you know, emperors and empresses. You're attracting good luck and good fortune. Now, maybe that's what the tornado is. A tornado of just a bunch of things culminating good luck and all of these things. I like it. So what's going on currently? You know you deserve love and you're vibrating very high. You're giving yourself that love. What you don't see, what you don't expect. You have romantic feelings for someone. What you don't expect is someone is coming forward and they have romantic feelings for you. And the overall energy between y'all is past life relationship. You've known each other before. All right, so I see Scorpio, Aries could be dealing with an earth sign. Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, or an Aquarius. What's the overall energy for Sagittarius? It's time to take action. Yeah, more Aries. Look at that. And the answers you need are coming. Could be dealing with the Gemini. I like this. I like it a lot. Y'all got the best reading so far, Sag. All right. Capricorn. What's going on in love? Tell me about Capricorn in love. What's going on for Capricorn? What's going on currently for Capricorn and love? All right, religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and your spiritual path. What don't you see coming? Stay optimistic about your love life. Overall energy, give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Work on your partnership. So what's going on currently is you're being very spiritual. Your love life is being affected by your spiritual your spiritual path. Why did I say spiritual bath? Y'all taking spiritual cleansing baths? Maybe you need to. All right. So if your love life is affected by your spiritual alignment, okay. So if you're out of alignment, that's what you're attracting. If you're in alignment, that's what you're attracting. So stay optimistic about your love life. So 
you know, you can experience positive in alignment romance and give your relationship a chance. All right, Capricorn. The moon could be dealing with the cancer. You could be upset. Um, watch the Sagittarius. Was that Sagittarius? Watch the Sagittarius reading. They got the, the emperor in the exact same spot. You got all of Sagittarius' same cards. And I did shuffle these mugs. Okay, so what I see is right now you may be confused or depressed and you're trying to figure some things out. Stay optimistic about your love life because look, with the moon card, you could be depressed or you could be sad or you could not be optimistic. And this is what you're, be careful because this is what you'll attract. You know, more confusing situations, more confusing relationships. So really break through that, all right? Right now, you could be going through the dark night of the soul with the moon and religious factors, okay? Confused, sad, depressed. But this is, I like the moon because what it's saying is there's a chance for you to see things in a new light, a new perspective. There's a chance for you to really use your intuition and dig deep and figure out what's really going on underneath the surface. Okay, it's also like understand what you feel is going on logically and then try to understand what's going on spiritually as well. I do see good change and something ending, transforming. Two big change cards right here. Okay, what's going on for Capricorn in August? Overall energy. Nothing is yet set in stone. Go watch the Leo reading. Leo got that. And then here's your energy. Your hard work is paying off, Capricorn. So let your hard work pay off. Don't get stuck. Don't get complacent. Take control of your life because there's big changes. And really give your relationship a chance. I feel like with this Emperor card, you may feel like you might be better than everybody. Or maybe you might just be a little stuck up. Capricorns can be a little stuck up. It's kind of sexy sometimes. But not all the time, Capricorn. Okay? Not all the damn time. So... You could be dealing with an Aries, Scorpio, Cancer, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, possibly Pisces as well. All right, moving on. Okay, Aquarius. Aquarius. Tell me about Aquarius. What's going on for Aquarius in the world in the month of August 2022? All right, Aquarius. What's going on currently for Aquarius? Everybody is getting this, y'all. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Everybody has got romantic feelings, almost every single sign. What you don't see coming, release your ex. Release them. That's what you don't see, what you don't expect. Because the overall energy is, y'all wasn't expecting this. I wasn't either. Reconciliation. Overall energy, romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. There's somebody coming back to you talking about they have feelings for you, Aquarius. What you don't see, but shit, this is what they don't see. You already released them. It's time to clear your energy. Overall What's going on overall in August? For some reason, someone from your past is returning to your life. This don't have to be an ex. It could be an old friend, old coworker, old family member, old opportunities. Could even be old feelings, old vices, old beliefs, old behaviors resurfacing. So if you know that you change your life and you don't want to do those things anymore, you don't want to be that person anymore, don't let those old feelings, don't let that negativity creep up on you and try to get you to digress, regress, um, what have you. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Maybe um, 
what I also what I see in August is you're done with the past. You're done. You might be revisiting it because you think you might still have a flame or lit candle lit for them just to realize, no, I don't. Because what you don't see coming is release your ex. That's what you don't see. All right. This could be vice versa. Crosswatcher could be releasing Aquarius. All right, this is for Aquarius. What? What is this? Y'all, Six of Cups, the Moon, Six of Pentacles, Queen of Swords. Someone has something to say to you. Someone is like, I'm sorry, I could have given you more. I realized what I've done. I've been so sad and depressed, the Moon card. I want, and this person is coming in because they are going to try to give more. I feel like they could be a Capricorn. I have Capricorn in their chart. <sighs> I feel like this person makes you depressed just thinking about this person, dealing with this person. And it's kind of like, I do feel like Aquarius. I do see, you're not mad at this person. Like, y'all could be cool on some level, on some terms. But they come with so much bull, like so much BS. It's like, dang, you don't even have to like do all this. Yeah, this is you, Aquarius. This is what you're saying. You don't even have to do all this. I do feel like you're setting the record straight with this person. We're cool. I'm not really into you, though. Like, this is how I feel. We didn't even have, like, honestly, we didn't even have to go through all of this. That's what I feel like. We didn't even have to go through all this. I feel like that is bittersweet too, though, because it's like, I, 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 when we were in it, like I was cool with this person. We were, we were good. I was very understanding, so I really understand them on this type of level, and so I'm not. That's why I'm not even mad at them. I could find it in myself to actually still fool with this person in some type of way on some type of level, but honestly. I'm just gonna close that door, close that chapter. Even though you don't have any hard feelings and you normally would uh, continue the friendship, you're like, no, nah, ain't no need to continue the friendship. Ain't no need to. This person is very depressing as well. This person might be very confused. They bring confusion to your life, all right? What's the overall energy for Aquarius? A, a new romantic cycle begins. So you got a new romantic cycle coming. Could be with the Libra. All right, Spirit says surrender to the divine, Aquarius. There is something new coming in for you, Aquarius. Something new. Yeah. And I do see a new job venture as well. Yeah, and this cycle is closing. Something new is coming. Yeah, Eight of Wands fast. Something that, mm, I feel like this is something completely new for you. Something like just brand new, completely new. Yeah, it's going to bring a lot of victory and success. I saw the Nine of Swords, so don't get stressed. Don't get distracted. Don't let people bring you down. Also, I get the reason why you feel like that is because of what you're eating, Aquarius. So I, we saw Libra. We saw air. Could be done with an earth sign, water sign, or cancer. There's a new romantic cycle beginning for you, Aquarius. Surrender to the divine. Yeah, we got a lot of Libra energy. The next person you could be dealing with could have Libra somewhere in their chart. Now it's Aquarius moving on to Pisces. All right, what's going on currently for Pisces? In love, Pisces. What's going on currently? Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. What does Pisces, what does Pisces not see coming? What does Pisces not expect? A heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Overall energy for Pisces. Trust. Ooh, Pisces. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. I like this. So overall energy for you, your love life is ascending 
growing, maturing, moving to a higher level of commitment. What you don't see coming is someone wants to talk to you. They want to openly discuss some things with you. Okay, overall energy is the situation is calling for you to have faith. All right. This could, I feel like this could be something in regards to money or work or career as well. This is for Pisces. Seven of Swords. Ooh, what is this? Wow, Ace of Cups. King of Wands. <sighs> Pisces, what is this? <sighs> Somebody is trying to surprise you. The only reason why, see, if the Seven of Cups and the Ace of Cups was just here, I wouldn't be too worried about it. I would say somebody's trying to surprise you with this engagement, but the King of Wands is here. It could symbolize a fire sign, but I need to see what this is. Clarify the King of Wands. Nine of Pentacles. Four of Wands. Knight of Swords. Two of Cups. Okay, y'all. I'm going to say it. <laughs> this player has fell in love with you. <laughs> this player, this king of wands, they're in love with you. <laughs> they want to move to a higher level of commitment with you. They do. It's like, because it's like they want to sneak off and go do something, but they keep looking at this love that they have for you. This love, these, now I'm not going to lie, they might have done some things. They might have done some things that you don't know about or maybe some things that you do know about. But it's like, every time I try to leave, something keeps pulling me back, me back, telling me I need you in my life. Okay, clarify the seven of swords, if you don't believe me. The hair fin, exactly. Exactly, the sun. Come on now. Every time I try to leave, something keeps pulling me back, me back, telling me I need you in my life. Every time I try to go, something keeps telling me that, me that everything's gonna be all right. So I feel like this person was afraid of commitment. They were afraid of commitment. They possibly are still afraid of commitment. But for some reason, it's like they, they can't leave you. They love you. They gen I feel like they do genuinely love you. They may not come out that way. It may not come out in their actions, but they feelings, they really do love you. Okay. I like how the nine of pentacles came out with the king of wands because it shows them being single and independent and not fucking around. I don't see other people here in the mix. I don't see other people. Okay. I feel like y'all can have kids together. This person wants to have kids with you. There's going to be some engagement. So I feel like there's somebody who is going to have to um, have courage and remove that fear, face their fear, and tell you, I have feelings for you, and I want to be in a higher level of commitment with you. Because you see what's peeking out in the deck? The lovers. It's like the love. It's, it's like no matter how much this tries to person tries to distance themselves no matter what they try to do where they try to go the love is there they can't deny it it's undeniable the love is there the attraction is there their feelings there it's there okay so i do feel like somebody does want to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you could be a leo taurus Earth sign, fire sign, air sign, or water sign. Maybe it is hard for you to trust this person. What's the overall energy for Pisces? You, meditate and contemplate. And then we have, the energy is gaining momentum. Yeah, the energy is gaining momentum. So y'all could have been in the talking phase. And this person is like, nah, these feelings can't be real. I can't for real be in love with Pisces. And it's like, they are. Okay, watch the Sagittarius reading. You can have Sag in your chart or this person could be a Sag. Moving on. That was Pisces. Moving on to Aries. All right, Aries in love. Tell me 
you about Aries and love for the month of August. All right, what's going on currently for Aries? Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Currently, Aries, the signs are cautioning you. What does Aries not see coming? True love. And then we have flirt. What you don't see coming. True love and flirt. Overall energy, you soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. So what I'm seeing is, okay, I have two messages because you could be dealing with two different people. What's going on currently, there are some red flags that there a person is showing you. I feel like, I'm going to tell you the two storylines I'm getting. Pay attention to the red flags. I feel like there are some signs that's cautioning you about a specific person. Now, it's up to you to either ignore it or acknowledge it. Acknowledge these red flags. Tell this person what's going on, how you feel, what you will and won't compromise, what you will and won't accept, and they can either take it or leave it. On the good side, you tell them what's going on. Create healthy boundaries with this person. Don't overexert yourself. Don't put yourself too out there. And this person will be, you know, the energy will shift to, you know, true love and you guys flirting and this could possibly be a soulmate i feel like everybody comes with a little bit of red flags um one of my red flags is i feel like i'm too nonchalant um <laughs> i feel like i am a little too nonchalant maybe i don't put enough pressure or apply enough pressure as they say because and it's not that i don't care but I just, I just don't. And maybe that's a red flag. And it's not that I'm not interested either. So that may be. <laughs> Get out of my business, y'all. <laughs> it's not about me. Okay, second storyline that I'm getting. Here's the second storyline. What's going on currently? There's somebody currently you're dealing with or someone that might come along soon. And they're, they just got a bunch of red flags. And you're going to need to release this person. Once you release them, what you don't see coming is a different person, a new person who actually is your true love. When you start flirting around with them and liking them, it turns out that they're your soulmate, not this person. Okay? All right, this is for Aries. Okay, three of cups. I like this. Yeah, this could be a mutual friend, somebody you know of, and you are attracted to them. Could be a Libra. Six of Pentacles. All right. I'm still getting both messages for the tarot as well. All right. Some red flags could be maybe you and this person were friends with benefits first, or maybe you two were just friends or cordial, or this person could be a mutual friend of a friend and maybe you heard some things about them <laughs> but i feel like the attraction is there it's mutual things need to be balanced okay two balancing cards six of pentacles justice okay maybe you feel like this person could be given to multiple people as well yeah needing to choose a new direction could be at a crossroads in life. So, on one end, this person with the red flags, let them go. Because still, right here, there's a new person. A soulmate. Could be a Libra or someone you move to a high level of commitment with. Or someone who's very balanced. The tarot, like It still came out in the tarot as well. Um, this person could possibly be entertaining different people with the red flags. Let them go for a new option opportunity. Or what I see with the red flags, if you choose to continue talking to them, set healthy boundaries and make things balanced, okay? Overall energy for Aries. Your hard work is paying off, could be dealing with the Capricorn. 
you and your loved ones are safe. New moon in Cancer. So it could be dealing with a Cancer, Capricorn, a Libra, water sign, fire sign, or an earth sign. All right. Moving on to Taurus. All right, Taurus. All right, Taurus, for August. What's going on in love? Taurus in love for the month of August. What's going on currently for Taurus? What's going on currently? You're trying to heal family issues. Your love life is going to benefit as you forgive your parents. What do you not see coming? What do you not expect? What does Taurus not expect for the month of August in love? You don't expect to have romantic feelings for someone. You don't expect to actually find the one. But you also don't expect there's some type of deception, y'all. Now we have give your relationship a chance. Ooh, what is this about? This just got juicy, Taurus. Dang. And the swords, you're stuck on someone. Two of swords, you're ignoring someone. Two of wands, you're choosing a new direction. Deception, you're stuck on them. Vice versa, they're stuck on you. Okay, y'all. Somebody's in denial for August. And it could be you, Taurus. Taurus be in denial sometimes, y'all. But that's okay. We love y'all anyway. What you don't see is some type of deception. Someone's wearing a false mask. This false mask could just be you ignoring your feelings. This person ignoring their feelings. Because we have romantic feelings and this could be the one. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. And this could be the one. It's saying, with this card, it says you've already met the romantic partner you seek. Okay, so I don't know if you are in denial about this. If they're in denial about this. Because I do six, I do see six of cups. You're still thinking about this person. They hurt you. Very heartbroken. Okay, you could be married to this person. This person could be in a relationship with someone else. Oh, you fell in love with somebody who's already with somebody. <sighs> What's going on currently is healing family issues. Your love life is going to benefit as you heal these issues, forgive your parents, okay? It's going to remove a lot of blockages and help you really make those hard choices and decisions you need to make. Because right now, you haven't made a decision. You haven't made a choice. And this could be the deception. No choice is a choice. No answer is an answer, all right? And you're ignoring your feelings for someone. It says work on your partnership. So work on your family um, relationship. Work on your partnership relationship. Because what it's showing me is that you're not. And that's where the deception is coming in. This could work out. And this could go somewhere. If you choose to work on it. But you won't because you're heartbroken. Or vice versa. This person won't because they're heartbroken. Alright. You could be also. What I'm seeing is. Someone is falling in love with you. But you're emotionally unavailable Taurus. Vice versa. You falling in love or you have romantic feelings for someone who is emotionally unavailable because they haven't worked through all the SHIT that, that they need to work through. So it's up to you whether you want to deal with this or not. And I feel like if that's what's going on, you're completely justified. This person ain't available emotionally or romantically. I'm not going to choose. I'm not going to make a decision. I'm not, I'm not going to be pressed on this person. Because they're not even available anyway. So, yeah, you're completely justified if that's what's going on. Overall energy for Taurus. It's time to take action, though, Taurus. You've been complacent. You've been stuck at a standstill. You've been looking at this crossroads for two years now. Time to make a decision. Eight years now. Time to make a decision. All right? Show the world the real you. No more deception. No more wearing a false mask. Show the world the real you. So if you're a woman who like women, do that. If you're a man who like men, do that. Okay? It's 2022. About to be 2023, damn it. All right? We're not 
Ain't no sense in a false mask no more. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, Aries, fire sign, air sign. I feel a little water as well. Moving on to Gemini. What's going on currently? Let go of control issues, Gemini. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. What does Gemini not expect? What do they not see coming? You don't expect to have chemistry with somebody. You don't see it coming. This attraction. Overall energy. Everybody is getting this. Just, okay, just go with it. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Right, but you gotta let go of control issues because what you don't see coming is a strong magnetic attraction with a Leo. <laughs> Someone you work with, a lot of good fortune. Yeah, let go of these. Um, let go of trying to control everything because what I'm seeing is you gotta take a leap of faith. You can't control it. You gotta take a leap of faith. Be spontaneous. Yeah, seven of wands. You're trying to be controlling, control the narrative and all of that. Okay, this isn't really my way or the highway type energy you're doing, Gemini. What's going on? What's going on? Okay, let go of these control issues and allow the situation to unfold naturally. I feel like you'll really start to like what you see or you'll really start to like it at this job or you really start liking this person. What you don't expect, what you don't see coming is chemistry, a magnetic attraction. Because overall energy is your feelings are real and worth exploring. So maybe you're trying to control how you feel. No, I don't really like them. Not at all. Whatever, whatever you do. Okay? <laughs> you do. A lot of good fortune, a lot of good times. I see you smiling all summer, all August, if you let yourself. Okay? If you let it. Now, I'm not saying you got to just accept any willy-nilly thing. But I'm saying don't deny the good stuff. All right. Gemini. Overall energy for Gemini. A fiery climax approaches. So, yo, a uh, flame about to get lit. Gemini. A personal issue that you may have for some reason, and it could be these control issues. A personal issue reaches resolution. All right, somebody awakens the child in you. Let's, like, you just can have so much fun with this person. You can be yourself with this person. Y'all laugh a lot. Y'all joke a lot. Y'all are just very fun and childlike and goofy and things like that. So you could be dealing with the Cancer Aries. Aries, Pisces, Aquarius, Leo, the earth sign, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo. So there's a lot of chemistry and attraction and romantic feelings that are worth exploring if you just let go of control issues, Gemini. Moving on. Moving on. All right, last but not least, the beautiful, the awesome, the wonderful, the powerful, <laughs> Cancer. Oh, sorry, y'all. I didn't mean to move the camera. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, y'all didn't tell me y'all could see my lip gloss and all of this stuff. Oops. We okay, though. We're good. We are good. Yeah. Mood up. Okay, Cancer. It just want to be seen. I'm sorry. Some lip gloss my mama gave me. 
Okay. Maybe your mom is giving you a gift. You're giving your mom a gift. All right, Cancer. Cancer. Okay, Cancer in love. Cancer. Tell me about Cancer's love life for the month of August. What's going on currently for Cancer? <sighs> Pay attention to the red flags. Who just got this? Dang, who just got this? I think it was either Capricorn. Why am I getting Libra energy? This was not Libra. It was not Libra's reading. Who is this, Cancer? I feel like it could have been Pisces. Maybe? Capricorn or Pisces? Okay, it don't matter. So what's going on currently is some signs. No, Aries. It was Aries. Okay, it was Aries. There are some signs that you got to pay attention to, Cancer. What do you not see coming or what does Cancer not expect in August? You don't expect that somebody's going to be expressing their love. You don't expect to be expressing your love towards someone over our energy because you got a lot of chemistry with them. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Overall, it is. But currently, they're showing you some signs that you need to be cautious to. What you don't see coming is someone is going to make a romantic gesture. All right, cancer, please. Eight of Wands, communication, travel, messages. After a waiting period, whew, it's been slow. It's been slow. It's been slow, y'all. So what I'm seeing is the red flags is this person is taking too damn long. They're taking too long. That, I don't know why, but they taking too damn long. I don't, mm -mm. What is this? King of Pentacles, Page of Wands. They work a lot. The Devil, Two of Wands, Death. They could have also just got out of something. What's these red flags? Ten of Wands. They got too much burden, too much responsibility. They work too much. Okay, this person um, doesn't have a lot of time. I don't really like that because what's the point of dating? And y'all know y'all don't have the time to date. What, what's, I don't really like that because I'm getting a string and a long type of energy. I'm not saying this person means to do it on purpose or on accident or something like that. But I, well, all I see is that it's being done. That's a fact. Okay, what you don't see coming is they do something that just ropes you back in. You have a lot of chemistry with this person. Clarify the Seven of Pentacles. Ace of Cups, they do love you. And the lovers. Let me stop talking shit. All right. <laughs> Page of Pentacles, the Empress. Okay. If you give this person a chance, I do see, yeah, they will be expressing their love. I do see a gift as well. I hear I'm sorry. Um, Somebody's telling you that they're sorry, possibly for always, for always working so much. I just hear, like, just come home sometime. Just come home. Shit. Where the hell you be at all the time? Nine of Pentacles. I don't see this person um, is dealing with anybody else. But damn, sometimes it feel like they don't deal with you either. Okay? So it's, this is a give or take type thing. If, you're, if you can withstand and go through, well, not go through, if you don't mind them always being busy, then this is for you. Because they do love you. They do have a, an attraction for you. I do see higher levels of commitment. Some of you, y'all are already married to this person. Adjustments are required. And then we have a time to give rather than take. Yeah, there's some adjustments coming. And the time for giving. I do see this person giving you a gift. You could be dealing with a Virgo. Taurus, Libra, Gemini, water sign, earth sign, fire sign, air sign. Okay, pretty much almost everyone is here. So just pay attention to these red flags, y'all. The signs are cautioning you. So be aware of that. What you don't see coming is somebody's going to rope you back in, though, and express their love and give you a gift, tell you that they're sorry. Somebody that you have chemistry with, a magnetic attraction. 
all right? Could be a Gemini. Y'all could already be sleeping together. I see the lovers and things like that. So whatever it is, this person's going to do what they need to do to try to keep you. That's what I see. Okay, Cancer. All right. All right, I'm done with the all signs. I'm going to do a quick um, singles reading. Even though this is for singles. All right, I'm gonna do a quick singles rating. Yeah, yeah. All right, what's coming up for the singles? Okay, what's coming up for the singles in August? Friendship. Okay, there's a new friendship that's coming, and you're going to be very, very grateful for them. Okay, singles. So, if you don't get in a relationship in August or soon, I do see a friendship. This person is going to really help you, love you, nurture you, pour into you, be a genuine friend. Not one of those fake people who is jealous of you on the inside or just using you because they're bored. No, this is going to be an actual genuine friend who helps you emotionally, helps you mentally, things like that. And you help them as well. Okay, this is what I see. And you're very grateful for them. Very grateful. Don't sleep with them. Okay. Don't sleep with them. had to take tell you that all right for the singles it says i have found the one that my soul loves it could be this friend okay and then it says the reason it hurts so much to separate is because your souls are connected so maybe there's someone you're separated from it's hard because your souls are connected, but you can do it because you found the one your soul loves. It says, fall in love when you are ready, not when you are lonely. Exactly. When you're lonely, it's not a good time to fall in love. At least with the singles I'm talking to. For some reason, it always works for other types of people, but it don't be working for certain other people. And it might be y'all singles. So fall in love when you're ready, not when you're lonely. I do see a friendship coming and you're very grateful for it. Continue to be grateful. Express gratitude. Make sure you write in your gratitude journals, things like that. But this is all I have for y'all. I love y'all so much. Until I see you again, y'all be safe. Check the description box because it's going to have other readings for you guys to watch until I see you again. I love y'all. Y'all be safe. Peace out.